what is going on guys welcome back to the channel as you guys know i'm more of a muscle car guy most of my content on here is about muscle cars but i daily drive a car that i really like i drive an hour and a half one way to work or actually an hour and 10 minutes one way to work so i had to have something that was good on fuel i had a honda civic before that was good cars but they just didn't have enough power so i did a lot of research and uh, a lot of reviews and came up with this let's go check it out got the 3.5 v6 it's got plenty of power it's 26.7 miles a gallon average which it is all stock what i did do i did take the i did a muffler delete on it so it does have like a deep drone or like a deep tone it's not a bad drone but it sounds pretty good i like it let me show you what we're talking about this is the s edition the premium i guess you'd call it with most cars but see how the Got the seat and all is all electronic, all heated. You got the memory, his and hers. It's got the heated steering wheel, the VCD traction off, or whatever. The power windows, power locks, power seats, heated seats. But uh, really like this car. Has a good sound system, which I factory. I can't do it long because of YouTube stuff, but uh. This is it. I'm gonna show y'all. Car does have 120,000 miles because I do drive it a lot. I do drive it a lot. Averaging 26.1 right now, which it has been idling for a second. And uh, I really like the car, guys. It's got the sunroof. As you, you can see, it's got the sunroof. It comes up and down. So I really like this. I'll let you guys hear it real quick. Go for a ride. You can hear just how quiet this thing runs. 120,000 miles, just quiet, perfect, no problems at all. So I want to show you this. When you put it, I'm gonna put it in reverse. Watch the mirrors. So when you put it in reverse, they automatically go down, which is pretty nice, pretty cool. We're gonna back out and go for a little test drive and show y'all why I like this car. It's got the Sport Edition. Tell you, you can put it over in Sport. The way the transmission is, you can't even hear it shift. They call it CVT, but it's pretty pretty sweet. You don't even ever hear it shift, so I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna go for a little cruise. Let y'all hear it. So that was barely even throttled off. It's just letting you hear the exhaust. Sounds, has a good sound to it. Not too loud. But whenever you want to kick this thing, so like right now we're in third gear, which we are going up a hill, but we'll kick it on the way back. Turn around right here. I really like the car though. Like I said, it gets good fuel mileage. It has plenty of power. It has plenty of room. Everything you really want in a daily driver. And it's got the looks. Handles really well. Brakes really well. Let's show you. Back out. All right, we're gonna put it back down to sport. Just gonna hit. We are going up a hill. Like I said, we are going up a hill. That thing has plenty of power. And then if you want to brake, it'll brake extremely quick. Really like the sound of the car, though. 
But it's a little rundown on a Nissan Maxima. It's a 2010. So if you are interested in getting a Nissan Maxima, I would advise it. I've not had any problems out of this car whatsoever. I just got through driving it. Uh, ground trip went to Florida and back. It's about seven hours for me. So 14 hours and no issues whatsoever. So if you're looking for a, uh, for a good, dependable, good fuel mileage that has plenty of power that all you'll need, this is it right here. Nissan Maxima. Coming from a muscle car guy, if you want a good daily driver car that's going to be very reliable, this is what you need. If you can hear this exhaust. Sounds pretty good. So like I said, if you're looking for a good, dependable, good fuel mileage, plenty of power, car to drive around back and forth to work, look no further than a Nissan Maxima. Like I said, I can't hate on them. Not real big into the Altimus, but the Maximas, they're very nice. Got all the luxury features, plenty of power, like I said before. And uh, go check one out. Like I said, just go get you one. I, I think it'd be cool to see one of these things with a turbo or something. Be kind of like a 350Z with a four-door, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped out. If you're looking at getting a Maxima, hope this helped out. If you hadn't hit the like button, go hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. We got more content coming. Boosted 931 out.